Hello, everyone. In this lesson, we will talk about conditional formatting background. Conditional formatting allows you to control the display attributes of cells using cell value and user-specific conditions. Cell background can be different when certain conditions are met. Here, we can make a report with spaced background color and also can highlight cells in which data, such as the inventory level, are less than a certain number. Now let's take a look at how to achieve that. First, let's set up the dataset query. The data looks like this. We select product and take a preview. Drag in the fields of ID, product, inventory quantity, order quantity to B2. Select from left to right. Then we add the variable names to it by ID, product name, inventory, order quantity. To look good, let's set a column width to 25. Product name is a little bit longer, so we can set it to 50. Select R to add inner and outer border and we want to change this to dark blue. Also, let's set dark blue background to the setting. We can change the text to white, center light, and select bold. For the data, it also should be center light. Let's save the report as conditional background. and click Pagination Preview. The basic report table is here. Now we want to set spaced background color. Select B2 and add a format condition. It applies to the background and we want to change the color light blue for current row. The condition is a formula enter row bracket percent two equal to one and click add row bracket means the index of current row so this formula means the row index which are odd numbers the red label means Conditional formatting is applied to this cell. Now, save the file and preview again. We have spaced background color.
Then we want to set highlights for inventory level. Select D2 and add a format condition. It applies to the background. And we want light yellow for current cell only. Pick the color light yellow and select current cell. The condition is cell value less than integer 10. So we pick operator less than and pick integer and enter 10. We click add. We can see there is a dry, right triangle of D2. We can save the file and preview. It is very clear that product have inventory level below 10 is highlighted and space background.